Tuesday kicks off the prelude to the general election, the primary. District 30 state senator Drew Springer decided to not run for re-election, and four Republican candidates are battling it out for their name on the November ballot. Tonight's candidate is a controversial one, and Ariel Reed joins us now to talk all about that. All right, well, this candidate faced at least two different lawsuits on whether he is even eligible for this race. Brent Hagenbu is accused of living outside of Senate District 30, but he assures us he is eligible for office. I'm absolutely a resident of the district, and I'm eligible to run, and I think my, my opponents know that. I think they're pressing it as a sort of a, 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 sort of a campaign ploy. Back in January, Brent Hagenbu found himself in a predicament his opposition challenging his eligibility in the race. Hagenbu, confident his name belongs on the ballot. They've brought some legal cases against us, but, but uh, if you talk to any election lawyer, uh, that's dead. They may continue to try to beat that drum, but you know, I'm definitely going to be in the election. He is believed to be the front runner in this election with a hefty set of high-ranking endorsements. Now I have a unique set of endorsements from the governor, lieutenant governor. They both believe in me and that I'm the right candidate for this position and a host of other elected officials, including six conservative state senators, including the incumbent, Drew Springer. On the issues, Hagenbu is not sold on Lake Ringold being the end-all, be-all for water security. We could look at raising the dam at Lake Kickapoo. Um, there's, we can potentially pipelines, maybe storing uh, water in caverns. Uh, certainly reuse is going to be a big piece of it. We are going to have to work on all those to come up with a plan that is good for long term for Wichita Falls. Hagenboo knows water is a pressing issue for Wichita Falls and wants to create a sustainable plan. Brent Hagenboo is the fourth and final Republican on the primary ballot. Dylan Jimenez and I will bring you the rest on the Democratic ticket tomorrow, so be sure to stick with your local election headquarters on air and online as we approach the primary. Okay, Ariel, thank you so much. This